Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls. In the last field I need to fertilize from those three contracts I took at the end of the last episode. And this should pay us more than enough to get our production building in up and running this morning in the month of June. Uh, the rain is on the way but I think I got some time to get some things done before it does get here. And we should have some fields ready for harvest as well. Uh, did I get that completed? Yes we did. So this is field number 42 for 21,330. Let's collect on that. Field 49 for 23,135 and field 39 for 16,392. 215,220. Perfect. Uh, I'm actually going to hire a worker to drive the Vultra back to the farm. Should be able to do so. They should be able to find their way, I hope. Uh, let's go up here, create job, create job, and then go to... And just go right up to here. I think uh, we'll just put you... Can you get actually into the driveway area? That would be good. Start job. Don't run into the fence. Are you really going to wait for traffic? Are you really going to wait for traffic? Uh, this is why I don't use, use this. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll just turn off traffic for a second. And then restart it. Maybe once they really get going. Alright, let me try turning traffic back on. We'll see what happens. Anyways, while... Uh, I think it's Francine that's actually driving. So, usually have no problems with her. Uh, on over to the greenhouses. These are going bye-bye. So, let's go in here and do construction. And then uh, we will go ahead and demolish. And we'll get... Oh, not as much as... Well, they are getting older, so that's why their value probably has gone down quite a bit. Luckily, I, I'm not really too dependent on that money coming in. But at least it's something, right? Uh, we're not going to get as much as I thought. But overall, through the eight years, the greenhouse has made some money. And also right here should be... Uh, where would it be? Uh, yeah, the water trigger. We don't really need that here either. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah, so let me go ahead and move these out of the way as well. Kind of hoping they would get sold with the greenhouses, but yeah, I spawned those out to give the pigs some root crop feed. But yeah, they really uh, really don't need it. What's oh, I may have to get rid of this as well. Well, how much money do I get for this? I'm going to refund it. A uh, thousand bucks? Okay, we'll keep it. I ain't going to worry about it. It's a thousand bucks. Usually I don't keep that kind of money. But yeah, one person has guessed correctly on the production building, and it is crude oil. Uh, like I said, nothing too spectacular, but maybe if you haven't seen it, you're like, oh, what's this all about? So production buildings. Uh, we do have uh, a variety of production buildings we can put down, but they pretty much, uh, it's only two separate things that they do. Well, actually three separate things. I got to put it down, put down a sell point as well. So we got this one right here, which I do like the looks of for making crude oil. But the problem is I got to bring barrels to here to extract the crude oil. So that can get kind of tedious. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this one right here, and all it needs is wind. Yeah, don't ask me. I guess wind will make the drill go up and, you know, I have no idea. So 200000 for this. I think we will put this... Uh, I'm not really sure where the pickup point... Well, it's not going to matter. Well, it will at first because I don't have the other production building down. But in the future, it will not matter because, well, it's going to be distributed right over to the other production building. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put you... Right there is good. Um, oh, we, we are kind of... Uh, we are kind of in the road. Alright, uh, let, let me try that again. All right, that is better. Uh, not sticking out on the road. So we're all set there. So, yeah, this production building does not really need anything for it to produce the oil. So let's go right in and get that started up right away. And let's see here. It's going to be at, right at the bottom, crude oil. So it needs wind, uh, which is zero. And we'll get some oil. Let's just go ahead and activate that right on up. And we're going to put that right on storing for now. Uh, in the future, for another 150000 if we go to here, factories. So we do have three choices. Uh, but looking into it and the ratio, 
This costs 70,000. Now they all do the same thing, but it's just the recipe and how much better it makes it or how faster it makes it. I think the medium size, well, I say medium size, it's actually a pretty big, 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 yeah, pretty big building, but it will fit here on our lot and it's only 150,000. For half a million, we could put down this one, but it's not, it's not, I don't think it's even double the production of the 151. So, but the price is more than double. So I think by going with this, we'll do a lot better. So this will take oil, it'll make a whole bunch, of, it'll make like grease, uh, bearings, diesel fuel, uh, but well you can, there's like three things down there. And actually, what I can do, because I don't remember exactly myself, if I go up to selling items and scroll on down here, uh, paraffin, kerosene, motor oil, bearing grease, and diesel fuel. Now, we do need a place to sell that. Now, we'll be putting down the sell point here very soon. Actually, if I want to sell the oil, I barely got enough money to do that, but I want to hold on to that for now. I currently have no place to sell the crude oil. So if I go here, uh, I can sell it to myself, but that's not <laughs> that's not going to work. Um, yeah, so I can't sell it to myself. I have to put down a selling point, which I'll put down at the sheep farm because that is really the only place I got that will fit the store that I'm looking to do. So I think it'll be doing just fine, I do believe. So yeah, crude oil is what we're going to get into. Uh, I didn't really see the price overall, or I didn't show you the price. Of what, what I was on it. I'm all, all, all over the place right now. Um, yeah, right now, 8.59, but if you do price fluctuation, uh, max price looks like 9.31. So basically, not having to put anything into the building and getting a good amount of crude oil out of, out of there, we should be fine. Now, the tanker that I got for moving slurry and digesting it around, that will transport the crude oil around. But I am thinking about getting myself a separate tanker for that. So I don't, I don't want to be moving the oil uh diesel fuel all around and also have later on slurry and whatever on it i also need a tanker in the future for the milk which the cows are producing rather quite a bit here now i want to get the the dairy production if i'm going to do cows and they're going to make that much milk might as well make some cheese and some butter along with it like i am on hills of tuscany uh, but we're getting kind of full on that so hopefully this production here we can already see we already have almost got 100 liters of crude oil in here uh, I can sell that later on and get a whole bunch of money. Whole bunch of money. But now with that being done, I need to go to, actually, did the Vulture make it back? No, it looks like the Vulture only made it to, all right, so it looks like, uh, yeah, we can't expect our workers to drive on this map with traffic. Once they come across traffic, they pretty much come to a halt. Well, as I'm going through here, let me go ahead and do a drive-by. Get, some ice, get myself some diesel fuel for the Voltra. I'm going to bring this back. Our wheat field is ready for harvest. I am going to put down a swath. Now, I'm not going to bale the straw. I think I'm just going to bring down afterwards the TARDIS forge wagon. And we're going to pick up the straw and bring it all to the cow barn. I think the cows will take it all completely. I do believe. Uh, this grass field will be mowed, I thought, today, right? Yes, this grass field... Well, the bottom half is fully ready. The top half is somewhat ready. But I'm going to try to get it done today and make some more hay, I do believe. As for making more silage in the future, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the next cut this year, we may make silage with it and bring it over to the BGA. Just have to see how much hay we have for the animals at that point. So, let's go back to the farm and grab the harvester and the header head on down and start harvesting the wheat. Shouldn't take us too long to do that. And then we'll grab the, like I said, the TARDIS, the forge wagon, and pick up the straw that way. Might be able to pick up all the straw in the field that we do have. And whatever the cows don't take, I can just bring over and we'll sell the straw. I got a lot of straw bales back over here at the pig farm to last us a while. And we will have oats to harvest next month. I think we got two field of oats, so I can bail up that straw and keep it in storage for the rest of the year. So that production building being down now, that's going to make us a good amount of money every month. Uh, but as soon as I can put down the other production building and start making all those products I showed you earlier, uh, we can sell it for a better profit along the way. And hopefully I can really cut down on the contracts that I'm doing. That is the whole point. Well, and of course, to make more money on the farm, that's always a point. 
Um, how is the combine looking? Okay, we got a good amount of fuel. Condition's not too bad, so let's go ahead and just grab the header. I fed the pigs while the Franks were fertilizing the first two fields. So the pigs should be all set until next month. And I checked on the sheep and the cows, and they're looking all pretty good for another month as well. All right, let's get on down and start harvesting some wheat. Let me turn on the be. I said turn on the beacons. Beacons? Thank you. Uh, stay on this time. Uh, get on down there and start harvesting that wheat. I have to bring down a trailer, of course. And I think we'll almost... We should get a full trailer. All the wheat... I think I'll put all the wheat in storage for now. And I'll wait and see how the oat harvest goes before I start bringing grain down to our grain mill to make flour. Unfold the combine as we get to the field. Now we'll just spin around here, get the header pointed in the correct direction. Uh, check for traffic quickly. Hopefully no one comes along because the tongue of the header is sticking out into the road a little bit. That's close enough, I think. When you run into the header, you're close enough. Um, swath on. It is now. And away we go. Yep, got ourselves a good straw swath. Yeah, the cow barn takes a good amount of straw, so I thought about bailing it. I said, well, why would I want to bail it, then pick it up with the trailer, bring it back to the pig farm, and then pick the bales up and bring it to the cow barn? Why not just pick up the straw in the TARDIS and drive it over and put it in as loose straw? I'm assuming I can put in loose straw at that point. I mean, it takes a solid bale, which is more unusual than taking the loose stuff. So we should be all set there. Now, I'm thinking we got more than enough wheat still at the silo for the pigs for another year. Plus, we're going to have a field of canola that we're going to be harvesting as well. But I just want to put it all into the silo. And after some of the harvest season has gone through, then I'll decide how much I should be bringing down of what. Little by little, we'll figure it out. But now I'm really excited with the uh, oil production up and going. Because that's just... I mean, if you look at the greenhouses, like I said, they were bringing in maybe $2,000, $3,000 a month for us. And now we swapped it out on that property for crude oil, which is going to bring in... I, I don't know. I didn't really do the math on it. But <laughs> the money should be a lot more. We'll see how it goes in the next month or so. It may not be long before I get the other production building down. And the cell point, like I said, we're going to put that at the sheep farm. I was looking around the map to try to figure out, you know, where would be a good place to put down the store to make it look like, you know, customers would go there and buy that type of material. Uh, I found a few good places for it, but the store was just kind of too big for the areas that I was going in. And then I thought, how about we just put it at the sheep farm? Because I got plenty of room there to put it down. We can kind of make it like it's our own store. And customers are buying our product from our own store. And they got to go there to, to grab it. And plus, it's not going to be too far from the production building. So when I load it up, I'm not going to have to go extremely far to sell it. And I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make all five products in that production building or what. Uh, I'll have a look at to see maybe some more ratios of the crude oil and what it takes to make certain items and what the prices go for. And, you know, we might just make diesel fuel, but I think we'll make, you know, at least two of the, the five or maybe three of the five products that it can make.
and I may just sell the product when it's ready. I'm, I'm probably not going to hold on to it when it's the best time to sell it. But I'm hopeful with the amount of money we make from it this year, we'll have our other production building up and going, and possibly pay off the loan at the end of the year. All right, so before I go harvesting anything more off this field, uh, I'll leave the engine running because that's our combine. We're not leasing anything, so we're not putting any hours on nothing. Uh, let's grab the... You know what? We'll grab, actually, the Landini and grab the grain trailer. And maybe I might put the harvester on a worker in just a moment and I can come back up, grab the Fent, and I'll grab the TARDIS and we can go down and start collecting the straw. I would hire a worker to drive down there, but after seeing Francine trying to drive back from that part of the map up to the farm and just getting stuck in traffic, I think it's better off that I just drive on down myself. Not like it's too far anyways. Good thing is, I you know, I barely made two passes on the field and the combine is full. So I should get a full trailer and then some off that field. And after being on the hills of Tuscany the other day, I'm trying to think, that trailer there is like 38, 39,000, so this must be the 43,000 liter trailer. So yeah, I think I'll get uh, maybe a trailer and a half out of here. Well, instead of waiting for the combine to unload and just sitting in the Landini to move it, I figured, well, let's go get the, the Fent and the TARDIS, bring it on down, and I can put this on a worker to follow the combine around. As if it were like when we do a bailing and harvesting job together. Give the trailer a little bit of a nudge here. Got myself a little traffic jam. Alright, just get this kind of lined up here. Move the Landini forward just a little bit. Now I'll try to get the TARDIS behind the combine. Okay, put the pickup down. Do a little bit of a figure eight. Okay, turn that on and then yeah, follow the combine. And we'll put you at 40 meters behind us. That should be more than enough room for me. And hopefully we should get this field harvested and picked up before the rain gets here, which I think is at noon. Fingers crossed. Uh, I do got a times two speed. Actually, when I get down to the end of this row, I'll have a look at the forecast. If it's for 11 o'clock when the rain gets here, it may <laughs> slow down time quite a bit. Because right, I'd like to get the whole field done before the rain gets here. So yeah, the, the worker in the fence is going to have to kind of go, stop, go, stop. I think the working speed of the forge wagon is 14, and we're, we're going at 6. So get this field harvested, then the rain is going to come, and then in the afternoon hours, we'll be probably mowing the grass field and making some hay bales out of it. a tight squeeze here with a header, but I think I got enough room. Alright, I want to look at the forecast before I went any further. Uh, it says the rain will be here at noon. 11 o'clock still looks good. But, that could change. That could change quite a bit.
Got this little section up here to do, and what I'm actually doing is, to kind of help myself out a little bit, since I got a worker following me, I'm going over the swath that I created before I got the worker going. So when they get coming along, they should be able to pick this all up. As for the yield off the field, I mean, it's, it's going to be what it is. Uh, I was kind of looking for a trailer and a half. Uh, but I think we're going to be a little bit short of that. Can I get this all in one pass here? I hope so. Usually the working width is a little bit wider than the header, so I'm going to cheat a little bit on either side. And if that's all I left behind, that little strip back there, I'm not going to worry too much about it. But the harvest is done before the rain gets here. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it does start raining at 11. Because I've been pretty bad at looking at that forecast and being correct with it a couple times. I'm actually, so far, a little bit shocked that... Um, as for the yield of straw, yeah, that's like maybe 60% full. I was expecting a little bit more straw than that off the field, but I got a couple more passes I need to take. Now I'm kind of hoping this all does fit in the trailer. Because that way I won't have to come all the way back just to get the last a couple thousand liters of grain. It's going to fill it up. <laughs> of course, uh, 1,576. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the combine here. Turn the beacons off. All right. Uh, trying to see who's in there. Francesca, is that you? No, no, sorry. Is it? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and excuse them. All right, so we're 80% full. Now I'll go around and pick up the rest. Then we'll go up and dump this into the cow barn. I don't think they'll take it all, but it seems like the capacity of the cow barn is a lot higher than I thought it would be for most things. And anything left over, we'll just bring up to uh, the bale sell point. We'll just sell the rest. I do believe there's two oat fields I planted. So we'll get straw off of those. Sorghum field, we won't get straw off of that. But I want to say I still got like maybe 30-ish bales of straw at the pig farm still. Yeah, I'm trying to think if this would be easier because this holds 200,000 liters. If my plan is to sell the straw off a field I'm doing, it's probably just going to be easier if I pick it up with the TARDIS rather than making bales, pick them up with a baling loader, even though it's automatic, and then uh, bring it up to sell them. All right, I think that's all the straw off the field. Let me have a quick look here. Yep, looks nice and clean to me. All right, let's go pay the cows a visit. Then I'll come back down, grab the grain trailer. We'll bring that back and put it into the silo. Actually, I could, since this is a grass field, I can just cut right across my grass field. There's no fence there. Oop, but it's a little bit bumpy right there. I don't know how much they are going to take. I should be able to fit in here. Yes, we do. So, I have 184,000 liters. Look at that. It's like the barn was made for, for that. Uh, they took almost all of it. And that should be good enough for them for a while. Ooh, this is going to be a tight squeeze out of here. And the two random cows that are out here. Uh, it was asked, why are they there? I think it's just uh, when Lancy Boy was creating the path that the cows can go. 
There's just a little bit of a trigger spot. That's why cows will appear here. They're not really grazing on anything. It's just the way the game is. Just a little bit of a spot for the cows to come out and uh, stretch the legs somewhere else. All right, let's go sell the rest of this straw. The cows should be good for a year, maybe? Possibly? Not the best time of the year to be selling straw, but now it's all loose. I mean, I could pile it on the ground and bring the baler over and bale it, then store the bales. But I don't really see a need to. In the early stages of us here in American Falls, I probably would have done so just to get that little bit of extra money at the end of the year when straw is at its best in December. But now we are doing well enough for ourselves. It's like, yeah, this is good enough. And really, straw doesn't fluctuate that much. All right, that was more there than I thought it was going to be. So about 2500 bucks. Plus, we made some money at the top of the hour. The BGA is still rolling with the silage that's in there. I think I had about 210, 20,000 liters of silage still left to be uh, converted over to the wonderful electricity, methane, and digestate. Trying to figure out on the old fields when I harvest them next month, what do I want to do with it? I mean, are the straw bales here going to be enough? That's why I clip to the barn. The shed, uh, it could be. Right, forge wagon, I am done with that for the day. Not going to need it until possibly next month. When I make the hay, we're going to do hay bales, of course. So we'll park that right there. Let's go grab the grain trailer. Need to put that away before the rain gets here. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's put on our beacons because this is a little bit of hazardous for this Landini. This is a lot for it to be hauling. It can do it. But there's so much weight back there. It's probably going to push the tractor around just a little bit when I hit the brakes at this intersection up here. And what I might actually do is... Uh, let's see, what's the next field that's going to be harvesting? Uh, probably the small field, I think, has oats in it. So I can bring the combine there and bring the Landini over there to grab the rest of the grain. actually handled pretty well going around that corner. I was expecting the trailer to kind of push me around the corner, but the Landini held its line. Yeah, I may not be able to make up my decision on how much grain to bring down to the grain mill until I harvest the canola field and see how much we get off there because that is going to be the substitute for the grain uh, the cereal grain for the pigs this season. Now we do, I think I actually have access to the silo at the cow farm. Uh, but since all the grain that I'm keeping is for the pigs, I might as well put it in this silo here. I wonder, is that a multi-fruit silo at the cow farm? I'm going to guess not. And the only reason why I'm saying that, if it was like for, if I could put hay in there, if I could put hay in that silo, then maybe when I make hay in the hay field, I could pick it up with the forge wagon and just dump it in there. Let's take a trip over to the cow farm just for a minute. And I'm going to spawn in some... I think I can put hay in this trailer. But 
But I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that's not gonna be a multi-fruit silo. And the question is, I, I, I'm guessing I have access to the silo. I don't know. <laughs> I may not have access to it. Can I put hay in here? Uh, wait, what was that? No. Hay pellets. Oh, there's hay. Uh, okay, so hay is a no. Now the question is, do I just have access to this? Yes, we do have access to the silo because it allows me to put sunflowers in, but not hay. Now I can probably put hay... I should be able to put hay in Omatana's silo, which is over at the pig farm. But, uh, yeah, that kind of... Uh, don't really feel like going over there to do so. Now this should be an oat field. So let me go ahead and park this. Let's see, when the combine comes over, it's going to be facing that way. So I'll put the trailer right here. All right, let's get the combine. We'll get it off the field. All right, so we need to unfold the header. Drop that off. Uh, I can put the pipe in. I just can't fold up the combine. Now, I was uh, just messaged on Discord not long ago, and someone told me that they have announced, or it's been announced that Farming Simulator will be coming out this fall. Uh, I just went on their website and I haven't seen nothing. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a surprise to me that there will be a new version coming out this fall. But I haven't seen nothing announced, but that's what I got, just got told. So if anyone does know something, of course, by the time you see this, it's going to be two days for me for now, so maybe... Something's been announced. I have no idea. Got the combine. Actually, you know what? I should do. Let me fold up the combine because the rain is coming. Perfect. So it has been, what, an hour in game. Let me just go ahead and see how we're doing on the crude oil. We already got uh, 1,200 liters of crude oil out of that. That is pretty darn good. And since the oil is worth just under $1,000 at peak time, so we'll just say it makes $1,000 of crude oil an hour. So that's $24,000 a day in crude oil this is making compared to the greenhouses, which brought in about $2,500 a month. So definitely a lot better. So much better. All right, I think this grain here, I'm just going to bring on down to the grain mill and I will put that in there. I think we're closer to the grain mill than the silo at the farm. It's only 1,500 liters. So that field right there should be all set. That field does not need to be plowed. It was a wheat crop, so it should be all set. And we lime spread in all the fields last fall, so after one harvest, it doesn't really need uh, to be treated. It's going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and dump this wheat into here. I'll probably be bringing some down after the canola harvest. Once we can see some numbers. Yeah, how much wheat do I have in storage? We can kind of see that right here. Uh, 100,000 liters of wheat. I still have 340,000 liters of corn. I got way too much corn, which is, I guess, a good problem to have. It's always better to have more than none. Um, so yeah, maybe next year I only have one cornfield, possibly. So let's see if the crude oil does rather well, although I don't have a place to sell the oil yet. So we need to take care of that. It's good to have that oil coming on in. 
Uh, the other thing I wanted to see, roughly, it's going to be hard to tell because it hasn't been too long. That's going to hold quite a bit amount of oil, so I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Let's teleport on over to the sheep farm. Can I not? Can we visit somewhere? There we go. Here we are. So you know the sheep farm by now and where everything is. So I'm thinking right over here is going to be a good spot for a sell point. Now, I'm not going for the cheapest sell point. Uh, I'll show you what they look like here in this mode here. Factory selling points. So I uh, would like to scroll in more, but it's going to be kind of hard to see. Uh, crude oil. Where is... So for $4,000, I could put down just a little bit of a tent. Um, that does not look too professional. Uh, we could go for a store like this, but I thought that was too big. And it will take some other products as well. The farmer's market just adds the other products. But I think just going with the crude oil production for 40000 I think this is more fitting. And the sell point is actually, or the drop-off point, is in the back. So what we're going to do here is going to kind of line up with our our uh, silo bunker right here. We'll give us ourselves a little bit of space. We'll slide up like that. There we go. So here is the front door. And where we can sell is right in the back. But what we can do, because there is a path right here, when we bring in our wonderful dolly and low, uh, low loader on through, we can kind of just make a circle. We can enter there. Drive on around the back side and sell and then loop around and go out where we normally go into the sheep farm area. Uh, I wonder if I got free landscaping on this map. I'm not sure if I do. I, we'll find out here in a second because we're down to 6,000, but I only need to make a small little path anyways. So landscaping, uh, painting. Is this what's here? Yes, that's what's here. And I don't see the, my money going down, so I must have free landscaping on. So let's go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger and wider. Kind of match it up with that. And all I really want to do is just to come around. And then we'll go ahead... And just match the road coming out here. Just make it a little bit better. Oh, good. I can go right up to the road with it. Perfect. Perfect. So we can just loop around, bring our stuff there, sell it, and then go out and around, make a nice little loop, and out the way we normally go. So I don't have to turn around anywhere if I don't want to. So now we got a sell point down. Hooray. Uh, that is wonderful perfect so the only thing i really need to do after we start making some more money once again uh, i do want to buy two more tankers which are not that expensive they're like 20 we'll just say thirty thousand if i do some uh some upgrades to them so i need one for transporting the crude oil around at first and then for the future diesel oil diesel oil <laughs> diesel fuel uh because i won't be doing the fuel uh, so, wow i won't be doing the oil in the future because that will be shipped over to the other production building and I need a tanker for the milk. And I am not going to do... Because uh, I don't know if this is still possible, but it was early on. So I do want to buy the dairy production. And what we... I don't know if this is still a thing. Dairy production. Uh, what we could do when FS22 came out was you could bring material to... Uh, the, I could bring the milk down to the dairy production before I buy it. Sell it to the dairy production. And then if I bought the dairy production right away, the milk that I sold would be in there. That I got paid for, and then I would own the milk and then transfer over to butter and cheese. Uh, I don't know if that is still a thing or not. I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and buy the dairy production at some point. Uh, I just realized there's two dairy buildings here. Are there two dairy productions or just one? I think there's only one. I just didn't realize there was two buildings here before. Alright, so this is the dairy production for 70000 so this building is just a cosmetic thing, I suppose. Yeah, I don't see a marker to buy anything there. And that's where the butter and cheese would come out. Actually, there's three dairy production buildings here. Uh, but they're all just cosmetic. Two of them are cosmetic. One is functional. So, yeah, we need 70000 for this. 
But I'm probably going to have to sell the milk before that because the cows uh, are getting pretty full on the milk. And their capacity is getting up there. May actually have to sell it by the end of the day. Uh, what is the milk going for? Uh, milk. Well, it's not actually a bad time to sell it. 34229 is what I would get for it now at uh, 656 per 1000 Max price is 763 So it's not that far off. I mean, we look at those numbers right there. It's $100 more in October. But look at the overall number, 34200 or 39000 Yeah, it's 5500 more. Uh, but, you know, it's, I can't hold on to it because once the cow barn is full of milk, they won't produce more. So I'm actually losing production on milk, so I'm going to lose that money anyways, if that makes sense. So the rain's going to be here at noon. Uh, how long is it going to rain for so I know when to stop the time jump here? Uh, let's see here. Until about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So the money's going to go up because the BGA is making money. So I'm kind of hoping to have enough money at the end of the month to buy a milk tanker to sell the milk. Let's see, the rain should be stopping somewhere right about there. <laughs> and we're up to 16000 uh, in the store, you got to be kidding me. The tank, one of the tankers, well, that's a tanker I want, 62% off. <laughs> I, I've had my luck for, on for sale items throughout FS22. I cannot lie about that. Uh, for only 7000 so I could, uh, but this is for, oh, that's for diesel only. That's right, there's two tankers in that pack. That's for diesel only. That's not going to help me out. Now, you may say, well, you're going to be selling diesel in the future, but I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And this is the mod that we use. Wait, where did I go buy it? There we go. So this is the tanker that's for sale that does diesel only. This is the tanker I usually buy, and that does basically everything, and it does diesel as well. So I want to be able to do the crude oil and diesel, but this is the one that's for sale. So, almost got lucky there. Almost. So, yeah, we need this tanker here. And actually, it's only 21000 So, it's a lot cheaper than I thought. Um, so, we are just about there. We should be there by the end of the month with the BGA doing its thing. Um, as for contracts, I may start putting a limitation on myself on doing contracts. Uh, nothing important there for me to do now anyways. So, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, technically, it's still running. But when we uh, begin next episode, we'll be making some hay. And uh, as the day goes along, we'll buy ourselves uh, a tanker for transporting milk and we'll sell that and we'll get the money back right away on it because, well, just by selling the milk, we should be able to afford another tanker to transport the crude oil around and we can sell that whenever we need to. So next episode, we'll be buying ourselves two tankers, one for milk, one for the crude oil and the diesel fuel and the other tanker we'll keep for the moving around the slurry and digestate. And uh, wait, what else do we move around with that? Uh, pretty much that's what we do with it, I guess. But anyways, the after production is up and running. And like I said, as I'm recording this, one person correct uh, had a correct guess on the crude oil. And there it is. Uh, all run by wind, which is kind of weird since there's no, I really see no uh, like wind turbines or anything propelling this along and then the other production building i may have to get rid of some trees around here we'll go in here and we'll make all the other products in the future that will cost one hundred fifty thousand dollars. but this makes twenty four thousand dollars a month it's not going to take me too long to get the other money to put down the other production building and once we get that going and we sell those products by the end of the year maybe not have no more loan which is not much two hundred forty thousand left but uh yeah i think we're gonna be doing rather well for ourselves the rest of the year but anyways that is where we need to wrap up for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always and i'll catch you again right here in american falls but until then have a good one